Knowles to Pierce again. Still a lot of room for Spurs as they build up these movements. Knowles to England. Down to Martin Peters. Knowles coming up in support over there. Gilzine! Oh, and another miss. Beautifully worked, but once he gets into that position, he should really get hold of those. It's a good one to Bill John. He must have a chance here. Jennings off his line. The goal's open. It's there. And beautifully worked by the two front men for Colin Viljohn against the run of play to open the scoring for Ipswich. So the long one pumped forward. Touched on by... The two front men, Belfit and Weimark. And there was Bill John to come up tremendously fast in support, round the goalkeeper and put it in the empty net. The referee now having a few words with Chivers and Peters. But all sorts of things going on. Peters on the ball. He touched it. He did touch it, but it didn't roll. They've delayed it and he's going to be booked. Now Chivers said he didn't touch it. It's got to roll one circumference. And now it looks as if both are going in. But if he delayed it, if he didn't touch it, he delayed it too long and he mucked about. It, which must have been the case here. Well, it's better than the program, that notebook at the moment. So this infringement has taken two minutes to sort out at the moment. Now, Peter's going to have another go. Oh, and down he comes. It's got to be a penalty. It must be. It is. But in slow motion, you get another view. And a lot of people would judge that Peters moves off the line of the ball as he goes for it here and charges into the Ipswich fullback, although Beatty, the Ipswich defender, is also some way off the ball. But referee Yates gives the penalty. Some of the Ipswich crowd throw cushions onto the pitch and it's left for Martin Peters that expert penalty taker now to come up and slot in his fifth goal of the season that means 1-1 for Tottenham